Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Friday PM. Woo! <laughs> we did well there. Hey, I think we did okay. There. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Where are you joining us from in the world? Doesn't matter which country you're watching us from, where you find yourself. So, so welcome are you. If you're new here, God bless you. And we pray you'll be blessed with the Friday PM series. And for all our regular viewers, welcome back. Some of you might have seen part one, two, three of the the series that we're doing with Revelation TV. And this is part four that we're going to have today. So what's in store for them in part four, Charlene? Well, what did we do during the pandemic? That's something that's on everybody's lips and a question that Gordon Petty asked us. Uh, the Congress as well. We go to a very big gathering called the Holy Ghost Congress with the Redeemed Christian Church of God every December in Nigeria. And then... Other languages? Yes. Yeah, you asked us about singing in other languages, about the grace of God. Of course, we can minister in multiple languages doing full programs in different nations in their languages. So uh, we'll share testimony about how God showed us to do it. Um, we just appreciate Revelation TV. Really, if you haven't followed Revelation TV, do yourself a favor and look at their content. We see behind the camera, we're privileged enough to be there in the studio, meeting them face to face. And Luke and Gordon, they were so welcoming and their hearts are so for ministry mm -hmm. and just to see the work of the Lord go forth. There's no hype. There's no manipulation. It's not about the money. Uh, on the contrary, I tell you, these guys are the real deal. So subscribe to Revelation TV if you can. You will not be disappointed. Amen. So at the end of the yeah. episode, what can they see, Charlene? Yes, then we'll end the episode with two songs. It's Time to Fly, which was one of the themes of the Congresses in Nigeria, and, and John wrote it, and uh, it was very prophetic, wasn't it? And yeah, then, of absolutely. course, we will end with Let Your Living Water, a very well-known song from Vine Song. So be blessed as you watch. Yeah, praise the Lord. So we hope that you're blessed with all the, the uh, interviews, and we pray that this one will be even better than all the rest. God richly bless you. See you soon. Welcome to Revelation TV Presents, and it's Revelation TV Presents Vine Song, and I'm delighted to say that with me here in the studio are Daniel and Charlene Cook, and very much your the, the leadership of the of the team now, aren't you, me, or well, particularly you, Daniel? Well, yes. I mean, it's it takes the pressure off to say, well, the Holy Spirit is the leader, and God directs us. So uh, we try and be obedient to what God's called us to do, and. Uh, so yes, by the grace of God, someone someone has to be there to to uh, do what they have to Make do. Make the decisions and carry the can <laughs> if things go wrong. Like that. So yeah. well, it's great to have you. And and if you're watching, this is part four of four programs. And if you haven't seen parts one, two, and three, let me just say you've missed a real treat. And I'd love you to go to the Revelation TV website, and you can go there to videos, and you'll find the other programs, and you'll be so blessed by it. And I'm looking forward to chatting with Daniel and Charlene, and I'm also listening, looking forward to the worship today with us. So lots of things happening. So let me, lockdown, pandemic, you, normally you're on the road 11 months a year. Suddenly you can't do that. So ha have you been having a holiday? Oh, I almost say we wish, but no, we don't <laughs> want to wish, but because you can't go anyway. <laughs> but uh, so no, how do you use the time? Yes, really. The Lord has been so good. Um, after June last year is when we came back after our last trip on the road, the last full ministry tour. Uh, but since then, since June, we've been busy. The Lord's kept us busy with so many online projects. Uh, some, when it was allowed, we went out to still do some ministry in England and wherever it, it was possible around Christmas time as well. Uh, but it's been a real, I suppose, a time of impartation where the Lord has just imparted us, birthed in us 
tools and, and drawing us closer to the team for what he has for us uh, going forward and what's lying ahead. So it's been very exciting, I must say. We've had from launching different new songs, uh, uh, our weekly Friday, uh, Friday PM series every Friday has been... I, I was going to say, because I've looked from time to time at your Vine Song website, and, and you now do an online, don't you, on a, on a Friday night, and I'm sure you do other things as well. Yeah, so the, the Friday night's been keeping us uh, pretty busy, and then different bookings from different churches. Um, our uh, audio is now going to go on, on podcasts as well. So a lot of new things that the Lord's kept us busy with, plus then working on bookings and planning ahead by faith to see what the Lord will do in different countries going forward. So, yeah, praise the Lord. It's been, it's been fantastic. So, Charlene, when you can go on the road, where do you go to? Is it primarily churches and, and conferences? Everywhere, Gordon, wherever the Lord takes us. We do a lot of outdoor meetings. Uh, we actually did quite a few during the lockdown where it was a drive-in meeting. We did one in Somerset and one in America. Quite a few of them, awesome meetings. We, we love going to do prison work. When, uh, it's one of my favorite things, actually the whole team, uh, one of our favorite things. We've really seen God move a lot in prisons. We've done a lot of prisons in, in Africa and in Czech Republic and Poland. And uh, we, homeless shelters in America, outdoor events, I've said that. And everywhere God wants us, we go. Uh, we're not restricted. And when we were having coffee beforehand, you mentioned that you were going to be singing on Capitol Hill, is that right? We've done Capitol Hill for the last 25 years on the National Day of Prayer for America every year. It's uh, been a wonderful door that was opened many years ago. And um, it was actually the first time Vinesong went to America. I think it was 1992, around there. Uh, Vinesong were in Washington, D.C., and went to see the Capitol. And John Watson said to the team, let's just turn around and, and face the Capitol building and pray, never knowing that a year later they'd be asked to lead worship on the steps of the Capitol for the National Day of Prayer. And we've been doing that faithfully for 25 years. Um, God has kept us to do that. The United Nations, God opened the door for us to minister right in the United Nations in New York quite a few times. And uh, also in Kenya, in Nairobi once, uh, incredible testimony how we got there. It's exciting to be everywhere. I'm sure it is. And, and one of your, your biggest events that you go to is in Nigeria, isn't it? Tell us about that. Yes, it's with the Redeemed Christian Church of God, a predominantly few other denominations as well. But this, this event in particular draws crowds of several million. The, the old hall that, that's too small is a mile long and a kilometer wide, seats over a million people, but now they've built a new one that's three kilometers square. And uh, you've told us a little bit about your experience being there with Reinhardt and some, uh, some years ago, but just the enormity, I suppose it's the hunger that really strikes you, the hunger of people and, and, and how much they're willing to give up to receive something from God, that nothing is too much. They're willing to go through hunger, thirst, travel distances, be uncomfortable just to feel, Lord, I want to be where you want me to be. So, I mean, to see millions of people shouting hallelujah, I mean, it makes the ground shake. I mean, it, it's fantastic. Well, we've got an intriguing title for our first song today. It's called, I, It's Time to Fly. I'm sure we'd all love to be able to fly, but what's it about? Yeah, that was exactly one of, it was uh, the Congress for 2020, was it last year? or the, so, yeah. When, uh, when it was difficult to fly and they asked us to please uh, write the theme song and we were so excited that it was that theme and here we were sitting, uh, John Watson was sitting, how do I write a song called It's Time to Fly? It was the theme and the Lord just as usual downloads it in minutes and it's done and we're so excited it's the new team's arrangement musically and we started recording it and we felt it was really appropriate because it is time to let our eagle's wings spread and fly and uh, soar as on wings of eagles and know that God will 
restore our strength and renew our strength like the eagles. Amen. So it features the two of you, uh, Rachel, who we've had on uh, the program, and in addition, it's... Christoph and Christoph. Zach. Zach. Yeah. And it's time to fly. Daniel, I can almost hear some of our viewers at home who are saying they just don't know the burdens that I'm feeling at this moment of time, which are weighing me down. H how do we learn to free ourselves from those burdens when they're still there? I think it's pretty much just asking the Lord to give me the desire to fly. Give me the desire, make me willing to be willing. Make, 
Make my heart full. Give me, fill me with your spirit that I can renew myself, that I have that desire to reach out, that desire to fly again, the desire to serve, because it really is our time to shine. Everything nowadays is designed to keep us quiet, keep us apart, just to be home and be quiet. Well, nothing could be further from the truth, what we should do in the spirit. We should proclaim now, we should proclaim his presence, we should worship the Lord, um, reach the world for Jesus. It really is our time to shine. You know, Isaiah says, when the, a great darkness will cover the earth and the people, but, the, but that his light will arise in us. So if it, the dark gets dark, dark, darker, sorry, the light must get brighter. And uh, I think that's what he's called us to do, to shine. And, you know, like a, like a car in the day, if the headlights are on, it's got an effect. But as soon as it's pitch dark, that's when the light comes into its fullness. The design of it comes in, into its own. And I believe that's what the Lord's calling us to do nowadays, is to fly higher on the thermals of the Holy Spirit than we've ever been before. Well, we pray that will be the case and we, we receive that. Charlene, I asked you before about where you ministered and you were saying literally all over the world uh, and in different places. One of the things that intrigues me is I've seen images of you singing in different languages. And I'm thinking, well, do they speak all these languages? How, how do you do it? How, how does it work? It's really a gift that was given to John Watson many years ago. And he realized we don't have to speak those languages. We can sit around a table with a worship leader or someone who's translated the songs into a different language and write it down phonetically. And they would say a line and we would write it as we see it or hear it. And my phonetics will be different to Dan's or anybody else. And the sound that comes out of your mouth is exactly right or hopefully right. And it's just amazing going to a place like Poland or Czech Republic, singing in these unsingable languages, very difficult, and seeing the people respond because we're not there to entertain. We're there to sing in a language they can understand and sing along with. And by the time the end of the hour and a half or two hours is up, the anointing is there. There's been a corporate time of worship and they come to the CD table weeping, saying, can I have your CD? And it's so wonderful. And then, you know, they think you can speak the language and you go, no, 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 no rozumiem, or whatever you say, you know. Um, but it's been awesome. I think it's um, been so wonderful to have that opportunity to have our songs in, is it 11 da a different language? We, we can do a whole, ministry, a whole two hours or in one language, in about 11, 11 different languages. And then many others more where we've got two or three songs that have been translated and people love it. I know I speak a different language and I know when I hear my language, it moves me when I can sing it in my own language. And um, so we pray it's a blessing and we can see it has been a blessing over the years. I'm sure it has. And I'm sure many people are uh, just delighted to hear the words in, in a language that they understand. Yeah. There's one thing I wanted to talk about, and we haven't in the four programs, and that is transitioning. Because I think one of the hardest things in, in church life and in business and in, in, in most lives is, is to move from when uh, the founder, who's a strong, dominant person, decides it's time to step back or, or to step down and pass the baton on. Now, you seem in Vinesong to have done that remarkably well because we, you've talked a lot about John Watson. Um, he's, he's still very much here and, and part of you, and yet he's passed the baton on to you. Has it been easy? I think really it, when God is in something like that, when he ordains it, it has to be right. And it's just a natural transition. It's a natural flow. And as you know too well, it is biblical. It's scriptural. It's biblical. You know, Moses to Joshua. You know how ministries have trans Paul into to Timothy. And it's supposed to continue. You know, God, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. So if his spirit has birthed something, then surely, you know, it will carry God's character of being yesterday, today, and forever. So uh, it's, been, it's been a great journey. And uh, praise the Lord, I think it takes, it takes someone uh, uh, of his caliber and character to not hold on to ministry, but to say, Lord, 
it's time. When is your time? I don't want to be in it if, if, if you're not in it. And if it's time to, to release the ministry to the next generation, then that's your time. And, and so, yes, praise the Lord. It's, it's, it's been wonderful. All right, well, we're going into the song, which perhaps is the, the, the theme song of, of Vine Song, Let Your Living Water Flow.
your Holy Spirit come and take control of every situation that has troubled my mind. All my cares and burdens unto you. Iron song there singing, Let Your Living Waters Flow. Charlene, if I said to you, Vine Song, how can we pray for you? What would you say? I'd be very happy <laughs> because more than money, more than finances, prayer is like gold. And if we, for wisdom, number one, uh, to know, to hear from the Lord correctly what to do for protection on the road where we go, for open doors and that we would um, continue doing what God designed us to do and to fly. Mm. Amen. Well, I'm sure you at home will want to be praying for Vine Song. And if you want to know more about them, you can go to our website and find out the details. In a moment, we're going to uh, sing the final song for us today. So then it'll be time for us to say goodbye. So I want to say thank you to both of you. But Dan, if I said just to introduce to us the blessing. Thank you, Gordon. May I just say thank you for having us on the program. It's been our absolute privilege and honor for us. We've admired Revelation TV for so many years. So the song says, may the Lord bless and keep you. And that's what we pray for your ministry and for anyone watching that the Lord will bless and keep you and make his faith shine upon you and give you peace during this time. So thank you again. Thank you for watching and God bless you. Well, our time has almost gone. It's been a joy to have your company today. And my prayer is that as you've listened to the music, if you've heard the words, that you'll be able to say that God has truly touched your life and blessed you. Thanks for being with us. Until next time, bye-bye. The Lord bless and keep you and make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you the lord lift up his countenance upon you unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon